Strap on your tool belts and grab a cup of coffee. It's time for My Fix It Up Life with Mark and Teresa. So Jack, you're an expert builder. What would you build out of pallets? A house. Whoa, a whole house? Yeah. What else could you build? A playset. Ooh, like our playset? And a teleporting house. A teleporting house? I don't think I've ever seen that built out of a pallet. That would be the first one ever. I love your ideas. Let's go make something awesome. Sound good? Mm. Yeah, we're gonna go do that. Hey, my Fix It Up lifers. Welcome to our My Fix It Up Life show where we are talking about DIY pallet projects, Palooza. Yes, we are talking to the pallet king himself, Matt Blasha, host of almost every show on HGTV and DIY Network. And we're pretty sure he started the whole DIY pallet craze that we're all in. And Instructables, the contest manager over there, Celeste, will be joining us. They have hundreds of pallet projects on their site. So if you're looking for a little inspiration and to do a little perspiration in your DIY. Grab some pallets, get some ideas, and join us for this episode. We're starting it right now. Sanding walls before you paint? Do it the hide way, not the hard way, with Hyde's dust-free sander. Attach to your wet dry vac and go. No drywall dust on your furniture, no tough cleanup when you're done. Buy online at Amazon.com. And we are live lifers Whoa. talking to Matt Blashaw, HGTV, yes. DIY. Yes. I mean, crasher, I'm... host, carpenter, contractor. My wife and I are talking here, Teresa Clement, right uh, here. Yeah, and I'm like saying, well, I, I wore like, like this is sort of a, like a vacation-y, luau-y kind of like shirt that I put on today with the flowers and stuff. Why? Well, because Matt also hosts a new show on HGTV. I don't watch that. About vacation houses. So I figure like, you know, a backyard, cool things, vacation. Maybe he wants to give me a vacation for free. No? Why isn't the green screen behind you like palm trees Ooh. or something? Like it should have been a vacation theme. Well, what like is this? Wheel of Fortune <laughs> where we put like a rubber, you know, rubber plant on the thing? I have a yes. giraffe. Safari for free. Safari for free. Yeah. Oh. oh, don't don't mess with that. Don't mess with equipment. Teresa has a uh, basic uh, jungle of endangered species. And then on the I desk. have a purple cow. Wow. He's fr that, they're friends. Totally, that's very endangered. Yeah. He purple cows. <laughs> yeah. Let, let's add to your list of uh, your CV, as they say in Latin. And I uh, have endangered of course, animal expert. Your your girlfriend would know about the wooden man. The Hi. wooden man. Yes. Yes. With a purple heart. Yes, yes, he's very friendly. And the only other animal I think or creature I have up here is my tiny little elephant. Oh, oh. what the hell is Mark? You didn't even know I had these hey. guys. They're my friends. Mark. God bless you, Mark. You, hey, way to go. <laughs> you owe me $50 the next time I see you in person. That's all, that's it. I'm just going to put all my friends aside. Yeah. You know so, what? All these years I've been talking to you guys on the phone, I have missed this. I have missed all of the giraffes <laughs> and purple cows and weird trinkets and tchotchkes you have around your studio. Well, Thank you, Google Plus and YouTube, for this hangout yeah. to talk to you eventually sometime about pallet oh projects. yeah because like yeah. you we'll get to it we don't have to rush we can linger mm -hmm. you, on you yeah. on bending man here you literally posted on facebook a couple of months ago about how much you love pallets and there's like this whole long thing and i also saw in i think it's men's health magazine that converting a pallet into a chair it was crazy so i did the pallet chair i call it the palerondack Ooh, and that was awesome. eight years ago and it was something that I did on a show called Money Hunters, and that was on DIY Network. And I did it, and I wasn't, I didn't think much of it. And then the network said that they were getting so many hits online. I had so many people contacting me, ask how to do the Palerondac chair. Men's Health covered it. I think I did it for USA Today. 
And I went, wow, pellets are really taking off. And so in Vegas for Yard Crashers, one of these times, I did an entire backyard uh, with pellets, everything, tables, chairs, privacy screens, uh, art, everything, you name it, this backyard was done with pallets and pallets are not, they're not going away. People really, really love them. It's just, there's, I don't there's certain understand. things and certain secrets. You guys. I, I honestly God, don't understand. Well, yeah, you are the one that I, I made. I swear, I'm not kidding. Yeah, you I, made pallets or, popular. I think you, I yeah. really think you did. Mm -hmm. Like people made <laughs> stuff out of them before, but it was more like bulletproof zombie stuff, you know, because they didn't I, have the material. I guess I, I when I so I did a lot of talks last year too, and I and I talked with people uh, about these pallets. And what was crazy is that after my talks, people would ask me more about pallets, how to do pallets, because it is a very DIY friendly thing. And why I love them because a lot of people say they go, well, I want to get a regular pallet. Why can't I just build it myself? The beauty of the pallet is that each pallet has been around the world or to different parts of the country. They all have a different story. They all have a different color. They all have a different texture. So when you put that in your backyard, you put that in your house, it, it, that, that, that history, you feel that history, that story, that worn look, that's what makes the palette so absolutely incredible. And that's why people love it. Oh my gosh, you just made Pallets Romantic. And brought to you by Pallets.org. <laughs> Pallets.org, I'm Matt Blashoff for Pallets.org. If anyone can make Pallets sexy, I guess I could do that. Right? Yeah, you brought sexy back into Pallets, for sure. Pallets, that is absolutely yeah. such a wonderful look into it. So when people ask you, because I'm asking you now, what are the things you have to know before you go and grab a bunch of pallets from wherever you're grabbing them from? Main thing to look at, right, is that you want to make sure they're in pretty decent shape. And you can get pallets, you know, go to the back of like Walmart or Target. Go ask these people. Just go to the manager and say, hey, could I have these pallets? Um, you can go to pallet yards where people give away pallets that maybe have a couple broken uh, slats on them. But the thing that, you, that people get so frustrated with is they go, how could I take apart these pallets? you're not going to be able to take apart a pallet with a hammer. And if you do, it's going to probably destroy the pallet because how they put them together is with shank nails. Those shank nails are never supposed to be taken out. All right. Those are in there for good. So if you want to deconstruct a pallet, use a reciprocating saw. So you, you saw off the nails and then you will have the, you know, the, the pallet to work with. And, I mean, I've, I've done everything. I mean, the coolest thing I did was an entire privacy screen. And I just built kind of like two by fours for the wall and then put pallets up. And then I painted every other slat a gray. So it looked, it didn't look like a whole wall full of pallets, but it actually had a really nice design aesthetic to it. Um, and that was one of my favorite projects. So there's, I mean, literally just dream it. You could build it with a pallet. That is really cool. I, I love am, that idea. And I apologize. I interrupted you, Teresa. I, right now, my reaction is I am thanking you over and over and over again for the you can't take pallets apart observation because <laughs> it, everyone just I've seen 100 projects hack away at it, cut the pieces away, break them, the whole thing. And it, that's great. And a recip saw like with a bimetal blade, right? Mm -hmm. Cut yep. the nails. Yep. And See, we should have talked to Matt before we d we did a pallet project recently. I finally convinced Mark to do one. Kicking Be and mm -hmm. screaming. Yeah, he. Yeah. I was like, they're so popular. People are doing. We need to like people ask us about them. So we want. I want to be able to answer their questions. And we've never actually built anything with pallets before. So let's do something. And he was like, I could build it faster out of real wood, and. These are all different sizes and they're heavy and all the other stuff that comes along with it. But when we were done, it's beautiful. And I use what? No, he's laughing because he totally gets it. This is the I get it. I'm with I you, get it, man. You, you go, why do I have to take this apart? Why can't we just build it from new? Why well, don't understand why it's going to be like this? But but because pallets me and I'm sure what you guys love about it is the look of the pallets when you're done. Not only uh, in terms of, I guess, the lines, the clean lines, but the rough texture of the rough sawn palette as well. 
and you know keeping those rusted nails that brings the metal element and I mean you can make a, a bench and, and a lot of people say well how do you make these pallet bench so cut a, a pallet in half right and then go get some big two inch galvanized pipe you know attach that to the bottom because I liked mixing pallets and metal so you get that wood and that metal look at the same time I mean I made a table out of rebar uh, um, the top was a uh, 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 actual uh, pallet and then the bottom was rebar so I just made these rebar legs so really try when you when, when you guys out there are, are thinking about building anything pallet try to mix some metal in that as well mix the materials up um, pretty easy to do just go down to the hardware store you can find all those the, the things you need right there yeah gas that pipe is so good. like threaded gas pipe and elbows yeah. and stuff yeah black pipe I like galvanized pipe I like the shiny you know silver I think that looks really good. That plays off of the pallets really, really well. Um, I mean, there's just a ton of things. Just open your mind. And if you guys, you know, they look back, if you guys watch the Yard Crasher, if you look for Yard Crasher, Vegas. And this, she was a showgirl, shocker. And she uh, said, I want a backyard full of pallets. And I said, everything pallets. She goes, everything pallets. So I made a serving table, um, a regular dining table, chairs i mean you name it i made it out of palace so a lot of ideas to check out that is so cool yeah we're gonna definitely have to find that online and link to it from we should uh, yeah, yeah we definitely we will i do though the que the other question we get asked a lot and since you are the king the palette king matt blashaw palette king can you I think change I need to your change bio my lower there. third there yeah yeah change palette yeah. Royalty. I don't know, but HGTV is pretty awesome. But palette seems to be like <laughs> kicking its butt. So my my question is: Is sealing them? He's doing it. No. <laughs> <laughs> I'm crazy, Matt, and I've got a good sale going today. You can't. <laughs> <laughs> or your palette is free. <laughs> I'll throw in a wooden man for it with your palette. Oh, so like sealing them, though, because there's that's the other question. You know, we don't know where the pallet's been. It could have had anything on it with it wherever. How do you seal it to make sure that you know that it's going to withstand, well, weather and, you know, being safe for kids to be on them? I like to throw. So first of all, make sure you, 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 you sand it. Um, I like to do just a quick 80 grit sandpaper over the top. I don't want to sand it so smooth that I lose its texture, but just to get all of the real sharp splinters off. But then once that's done, make sure you just use a good urethane with UV protected. UV protected, especially if they're going to be outside. Uh, UV protected, I think, is really good for any kind of, you want to keep the shade of the wood the way that it is, you know what I mean, with the, the, the certain, you know, uh, darks and lights, if you want to keep that the way it is, UV protected urethane will be great for many, many years to come. Okay, speaking about years to come, you have another new show. Like, I swear, you've been on every show for like, what, it's how ridiculous. many years now? Yeah, you've been on every show, Matt. They do. It's like Nine a pop up Matt, Palette King. He just pops up yeah. and they, well, he walks by with his palette. And so <laughs> <laughs> that's why that I mean, post on HGTV.com or DIY Network has gotten so many clicks because you're on all the time. <laughs> No, the vacation you know house for free. I want to know. Like, we only have like a minute left, but what can we be seeing from you on that? Okay, coming up, it's season two, vacation house for free. Uh, it starts Sundays at the end of July at noon. Sundays at noon on HGTV. It's basically, it's all these shows, things that you love about HGTV combined into one. It's a vacation show. You can see new vacation spots around the United States. I show homeowners three different homes that they can fix up. We choose one. We renovate it for the rental market. We rent it out during the peak season, and they can use it while it's not being rented out. And if they rent it out within a certain period of time, usually 12 to 16 weeks, it pays for itself. Ooh. Oh, my God. House for free. How do I get on that show? I'm going to apply right now. F -F. Hello. Go to HGTV.com forward slash vacation house for free for your chance to be on that show, Teresa. With Palette King Matt Blashaw. Palette King Matt Blashaw. You know what? <laughs> Watch. I'm going to get off. You're going to this interview and the network's going to call me. Matt, we got a new show for you. 
<laughs> you know, Matt, I was just thinking, oh my right after I watched okay. you with my Fix It Up so, Life, so, I had this great idea. Uh, yeah. yeah. Pallet King. Pallet King. I don't know where it came from. I see pallets. <laughs> but we got to go. No, no, no. Time extension. Yeah. Time oh, extension. Time extension's fine. I'm just noticing how beautiful your interior decor is. Isn't this amazing? So I don't this notice. is from my, this is an actual painting from my girlfriend, Lori Gilbert. She's actually here. She's actually painting right now. No. Oh, no way. Oh, and she's yeah. a pretty one, too. Look Are at you her. Are kidding me? Yes. Yeah. Hi there, Lori. Look at that pretty. gas grill outside. That's pretty nice. Yeah. 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 Um, we need Wait, to, everyone so needs to follow looking, her. Mark was looking at my gas grill. <laughs> Sorry, it's, 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 I'm hungry. I'm hungry. Wait. Yeah, my girlfriend actually gave me that gas grill. So, wow. Two thumbs up. It <laughs> is remarkable how fantastic. She's, I thought that was a photograph. Yeah. Yeah. It's unbelievable. Incredibly talented. She's only been doing it for six years. It is a natural, God given talent. And she, I call her the human printer. I have a question. That's a great yes. name. What the heck did she do before six years ago? Like, what was she? She was in, she was in sales. For what? And she, she what were you saying? She was selling water, sparkless water. Sparkless water. She went to a intro to art class in college. All of a sudden, she started painting and realized that she had this incredible knack for colors. And I mean, like the what she did does with the painting is absolutely incredible so she's progressed over the years into some of the most amazing work and her art is selling i mean she's very very successful she's been um in four or five different art houses her stuff is going to tahoe um she just had a an art show in newport beach i mean she's incredibly talented so oh my god the talent king but i am nothing compared to what this woman could do you guys are like the the creative couple like you know the well the most attractive creative couple i've ever met <laughs> yeah we, 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 yeah right look i'm looking at you guys yeah right you guys are, you guys are uh you guys have inspired us i guess see we could have a whole like palette and paint show <gasps> yes matt that's no joke okay Teresa so is phenomenally I, I, I'm, gifted well not in, that, i'm not that gifted the, no. the art <laughs> yeah, area. Have, yeah. are you Yes, I, I, you? yeah, but yes. not like that. Stop being so self-effacing. Let me compliment you, please. Why aren't we going on a? Come on, let's get together. We, we should get like together a... and make magic, make magical palette grill art together. Just the creative stuff, yeah. Like Mark and I could barbecue, you know. You and, and Lori eat Teresa stuff. Can go do art. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yes. Man stuff. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> let's I, do this. Well, I have to though tell Lori though I've got um, sewing circle syndrome. I call it. Oh. So whenever I sit down or get involved in a project, it doesn't matter if we're framing walls or painting something. I just start talking like it's a sewing circle. I can't help but share everything that pops into my little brain. So it's okay. Lori has the gift of gab too. Oh, so, so sewing circle syndrome. Yeah. 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 We can yeah. get the sewing circle syndrome too. Yeah. Yeah. Talk, talk, talk. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Yes. Matt, She's like, we mm -hmm. could get a tractor trailer mouth. load of pallets <laughs> and lumber dropped off in the driveway. There'd be no reaction because they keep talking. Yeah, because we'd be like, whatever. You They're just yeah. doing their talking is now that we're down the road. <laughs> Hey, look, a mountain is in our driveway now. Okay, we do, have, matter. we do have to bounce. But when HGTV calls you to do the the pallet house giveaway show where you build an mm -hmm. entire house and furnish it out of pallets, because that's what's probably going to happen next for you, the pallet king. Yes. I would like yes. to be, we'd like to help out on that program. We feel as you though guys, we helped birth this, this thing, you know? Like, you're done. You guys are my producers <laughs> slash creative people. Slash, bring the giraffes and cows. we're also yeah the wildlife experts. <laughs> yeah, bring the tchotchkes, like whatever you can. We're gonna make this the weirdest show on television, and Purp it's going to be awesome. Sold. Purp Purple cows, very excited. <laughs> hey, lifers, check out Matt Blashaw. Check out his old shows. Check his, out his, his new show. show. Sign check up out to win. Follow him on Twitter at Matt Blashaw. Yeah, and uh, follow us. Be right here and be right back.
Take your inspiration into real life with Sherline Paint Products. From easy pour and store paint can lids to tools that help give you a perfect line. For more information, check out Sherline.com. And it's Palettes Lifers, my Fix It Up Lifers. You can hear it thrumming under the ocean, under the rivers, under the rocks, under your DIY tools, like Teresa is doing right now. A palette runs through it, if you will. And we're joined by <laughs> Celeste Maisel from what I like to call Super Sight Instructable. Ah. There's 115 entries right now for their palette contest. So if you're looking for inspiration, go over there. Check it out while you're listening to what we're talking got about. Every kind of project. Chairs. Yeah. Little doohickeys. So Celeste. Yes. I mean, when you're seeing these entries come through from people who are, I guess, members of Instructables. Mm-hmm. Does, does anything have you seen anything that's completely blown your mind this this time you've done this contest? Well, you know, every time we do a contest like this, we get all kinds of entries, and I mean, there's always something that totally stands out. Um, this time, one of the things that really caught my eye was somebody who basically gave themselves an entire wood floor in their house using pallet wood, what? Um, which was pretty impressive. We'll have to post that. Yeah. That's... How do you how do you seal that? Like what? I am. I'm gonna. Okay. I'm gonna go look at that after we yeah, finish that's, talking. That's the why you go to Instructables. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, to find out. It's absolutely you really step cool. Step? Now you know I've seen things. There's a money clip, and there's like somebody did just like a a board that was like a tray or something. They it was sort of like the most basic use of a palette ever, which is just mm-hmm. a little piece of it. But, you know, I've seen people, they've made fences and, like Mark was saying, chairs and everything. It, is the palette craze, like, just unbelievable? I mean, I imagine people are posting stuff all the time. Yeah, I mean, um, I've been working here for a few years and I've been using Instructables even longer. And I just, it's, you know, it's one of those things that it never seems to slow down. People are always posting projects and every time we run a palette contest it always gets you know at least 100 entries and all the projects are totally new and original and people just keep trying keep finding new ways to use palette wood and I I think you know they're pretty cheap or free and that's uh you know a pretty (laughs) a pretty compelling reason to use them and I guess it's just limited by people's creativity. That's really cool. And there's an awesome uh, article that has been on Instructables that I like to go to. Um, the pa- I think it's called the Palette Bible. And it gives you yeah. some breakdowns on where to use them, maybe where to get them. Because, you know, there aren't really palette stores. Right. Yeah, it's important to, you know, not steal your palettes because a lot of big stores and uh, things you, uh, they use them over and over again. And some of the wood is treated and with, with chemicals that you definitely don't want to be putting in your house and things like that. So I'm really happy that this person uploaded this how to guide because it has a lot of really good information in it for people who want to use pallets and want to know how to get started. I think that is really good because I know a lot of people spend time Pinteresting palettes and and the beautiful after pictures of how magical it can be. And it, that's great. But then being able to come over to Instructable and seeing something like that to like actually how to make your fantasy become reality is pretty darn cool. And you, you have another contest going on right now, the before and after contest. Yeah. Um, one of the things that a lot of Instructables users really enjoy is uh, restoration and, you know, kind of turning something into something else. And so we are running a before and after contest where we are encouraging people to um, take pictures before and after of their project. And so it's very open ended, but it's the perfect contest for palette projects because um, hopefully afterwards your palette is going to be unrecognizable as a palette. Uh-huh. And that's a pretty exciting before and after picture. 
Now, there's 150 and 115 entries for the palette contest that you just ran at Instructables. Now, do you have an idea of like how many there are on the Instructables website? Oh. <laughs> well, uh, we have over 150,000 projects on the site, and um, we've been running palette contests almost every year for the last three or four years, I believe. Um, so I would estimate there to be at least 500 palette projects, um, probably upwards of a thousand. Um, I, I don't have exact numbers on that, but you could definitely spend many, many hours just looking at projects using palettes. Well, I've got the next palette project right here. Oh no. And this is, Teresa actually thought of this. It's a van, it's a, like a vampire slayer or something. I'm holding up a piece of a palette that I brought in from our workshop. This took me one second to just peel it off a regular palette. And it really is vampire-y. I'm going to call you Buffy for the rest of the day. <laughs> that's better than you usually call me, so that's an upgrade well, right we there. We do have Halloween coming up. <laughs> yeah, and one of the funny ones that you guys have is the monster in a box. Like, people are so creative. Now let's, oh, yeah. I want to step outside of palettes for just the last minute that we have left. Is there mm -hmm. like a favorite project on Instructables that is not palettes that people should check out too? Um, well, we actually, uh, we have a really awesome t-shirt quilt that was just uploaded recently. Um, and I was really excited because I've seen a lot of t-shirt quilts over the years and I myself have tons of t-shirt quilts or t-shirts that I don't know what to do with. And um, the uh, this Instructables user did a really good job of using their t-shirts in a way that makes a quilt that's actually really nice that you'd want to put on your bed. So um, that that was one of my recent favorite projects. I love that because I have that's kept our six-year-old's baby, like a bunch of baby clothes over the years, and I keep wanting to do that with his baby clothes. That's one so right So I'm going to check it out, and I maybe I'll be motivated to take all those little baby clothes out of the bag and actually make the project <laughs> now. So Thank lifers, you, Celeste. Celeste, lifers. Thanks for having me. Hit Thank instructables, you. get inspired, share your projects there. Stay with us. More My Fix It Up Life. Sanding walls before you paint? Do it the hide way, not the hard way, with Hyde's Dust-Free Sander. Attach to your wet dry vac and go. No drywall dust on your furniture, no tough cleanup when you're done. Buy online at Amazon.com. We're back and we're out. We Thanks, are. Thanks, Matt Blashaw. Thanks, Celeste from Instructables. That was awesome. I'm inspired. I am ready to go. Give me some tools. Let's make it happen. And don't forget to stay with us when we're not on the air. Subscribe right, right here. here to our YouTube channel. Check out our DIY contractor grade and all kinds of other videos, podcasts, radio shows. And that's a lot to do. Email Mark. us at info at myfixituplife.com. Just talk to us on Twitter and Go Facebook. On the facer. We'll answer your questions. We want to hear from you and join us for some more inspiration. We're out. You know, Mark, I really kind of love this. And I really think it's not as terrible as I thought it was going to be. You know what? I can hang out here. It needs one more thing, though. Of course it needs one more thing. Why, why would we be done and enjoy it? Why? I, I don't know. Maybe I can enjoy something in here. Pretty face looking back at me You might be An idle conversation piece You might be Another wasted memory But I I'd like to wait and see You might be The first date on a city street You might be A kiss that brings me to my knees You might be Initials carved into a tree And I I'd like to wait and see Sometimes we agree just to agree Sometimes we fight with the referee I'm so glad you walked into my life Into my fix it
fix-it of life This is my fix-it of life Dress walking up to me It might be A sunrise in a sky blue sea It might be The holder of my front door key And I I'd like to wait and see Sometimes we agree Just to agree Sometimes we Fight with the referee Just a simple